Hey, what's going on guys? This is KNASU3090 here. I'm back with a Madden NFL 18 Ultimate Team video. Today we are going over some of the expensive gold cards that you guys may want to sell. Um, or if you want to hang on to them because you think they may go up in price in a little bit. Now I've gone through each team's golds, the 70 to 74s and then the 75s to 79s to figure out which ones are expensive for you guys. And there's a couple reasons why they are expensive. Or, and there may be reasons why they may go up or go down. Reasons uh, why they're expensive right now is mostly two reasons. One, these upgrade sets where um, people want to do the upgrades for each player, like each these right here. So like they want to like get like the Bills players. So I mean you need to have some gold tokens, which is the only thing you need these gold players for are these gold tokens for like I think it's tier two you need one, and then tier three you need one. So you need them for like tier two or tier three to get these really good cards. They do become NAT, so they, that hurts a little bit of their value, those elite cards, which hurts a little bit of the gold value. Now another reason why these golds are expensive is just for the sheer fact there's not many of them. Some teams don't have, I mean, maybe like a team like Jacksonville has 10 people who have a 70-74 overall, but a team like the Giants may have three players who are like that. Therefore, it's less, they're less common, therefore they're more expensive. Now, these prices of these cards can change once team leaders drop. As of today, which is Labor Day, September 4th, team leaders are not in the game yet. Team leaders are going to be sets that may require uh, some gold cards, and based off how good some of those cards are, certain um, teams will become more expensive than others. A team that I may not mention today in two weeks may have a team leader that's like an amazing 88 overall card that everyone wants. Therefore, those golds and those silvers will go up or maybe some elites for that car, for that team. So keep that in mind, guys. At the time I'm recording this, this is what they're going for. But like I said, if a team just doesn't have a lot of gold cards, even if their team leaders are meh, they're still going to be expensive. So if you guys are enjoying this and this does help you out, do me a solid and drop a like on the video. And if you are new to the channel and you are enjoying this content, which is helping you guys out making some coins, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Now, what I would recommend guys doing for some of these teams, sell, I would say sell if you really want to just build your coins down and just wait to build up your team if you're not too worried about team leaders. I feel like so many people are hoarding on to gold and silver cards for team leaders. Once team leaders drop, the market will be flooded. That's just a personal opinion of mine. I would not be shocked if that happens. Now, here we go for 7074s. I went through each team and I basically looked at which teams have cards that go for at least 1,500 coins. Most, if you look at a specific team, will go between 800 and 1,000 coins. So I'm looking at anything that's a 50% increase of normal. Some go for a lot more. But, for instance, a team like the Broncos, 2,500 coins, easy, maybe 3,000 coins for 70 to 74. That's really good, guys. Another team is the uh, Dallas Cowboys. They go for a lot, too. Look at that. I mean, right here is a little bit of a snipe. You can even do this, guys. Let's see, did I get him? I got him. So I can put him up for 3,100. Not a huge profit, but you guys can definitely do this with these high, uh, with these cards, these gold cards that go for a lot. People may not know this, and you can get yourself some quick little snipes, like I just did right there. Hopefully that sells by the end of the video. You can see we bought it for what, 21? We sell it for 31. After tax, we'll make like 700 coins on it. Nothing crazy, but you do that consistent, consistently, excuse me. You'll come out really good, guys. Another uh, expensive gold 7074 are the. Atlanta Falcons going for easily 3,000 coins. Another team are the New York Giants. That card already just sold right there. New York Giants go for right at the 1,500 coins. They're the cheaper ones out of all of these. I almost didn't include them, but I figured it would be uh, just to include them in case they have some really good team leaders in the future. Uh, another team are the Green Bay Packers. Again, right at 1,500 coins. The New England Patriots are another team that are expensive. 3,000 coins easy for 70 to 74 golds, and those are like the cheap golds guys that normally, like I said, go between 8 and 1,000 coins. That's triple the value if you just got, happen to get a Patriot card. Another expensive one are the Oakland Raiders. Again, they're sitting at 3,000 coins a piece as well. So if you have 10 of those, just do the math. That's 30,000, I mean, that's 27,000 after tax. Uh, that's just, that's a really, that's a solid 85 overall card you could buy. Uh, the Steelers, 2,000 coins easily. I mean, I could buy that one. That's a little bit of a snipe, but not too crazy, so I'm not going to worry about it. But those cards, I mean, these cards sell really quick, guys. So if you're worried, like, oh, I don't want to have them sit in my binder forever, they'll sell really, really quick. And then lastly, the, te uh, the Texans, 1,500 coins, they'll sell it. That one's a little bit of a snipe, but like I said, I'm not too worried about it. It's a small snipe. Now we're going to get into, guys, the 75 to 79. So these ones are more, ex these ones are more expensive. Um... The Texans, for one, they go for almost 5,000 coins a piece. Uh, let's go back alphabetically. Uh, the Broncos. So the Broncos are expensive for both 
the low and the high golds. Look at that, 4,000 to 5,000, easy. You see someone put one of these at 4,000 coins, which happens quite frequently. You wouldn't, I mean, I, I'm telling you guys, sit on this market, go through these teams. I'm about to tell you, you can easily find snipes, get your coins. Cowboys, 4,000 coins, easy. Uh, moving on, the Atlanta Falcons, again, easy coins here, 4,000. Uh, right now, they're a little bit cheap. I know I've been seeing for 4,000. Right now, that seems like a one guy or a couple guys just kind of flood the market. But they're they're easily over 4,000, the Falcons are. The Giants are another one. 4,000 easy. I've seen them sell for... I've sold them for 5,000 in the last couple days. So, Giants are really expensive. I guess the, mar the market can fluctuate a little bit. But these are ones that consistently, I've been checking, go for a good price. Packers, 4,000. I've sold them for 4,500 instantly. Uh, and then the last team, guys, I mentioned the Texans already, and then we got the Steelers. Where are they? Here they are. These are easily 4,000. I've sold them for about 42 to 43 consistently, so they're a little high right now. They're a little expensive right now. So those are all the golds. I recommend you guys, like I said, just go through the market and just be like, you know, I'm going to sit on these Cowboys cards, and I'm just going to keep refreshing it until I get like a really good snipe. You can Because the Cowboys have a 70, 70, 74, and a 70, 79, so you can just consistently flip through the two until you get yourself a good snipe and then you even want to keep it and hang on to later or just sell it now either way it works but use this to your advantage guys i gave you the information for the expensive golds do what you want with it like i said i recommend maybe just play in the market sell some that you may have now because i feel like so many people are hoarding as there's that card that we sold we made about 600 coins on that but that took two seconds as you can see um so if you do that a bunch it adds up but yeah, like I said, guys, I feel like so many people are hoarding for team leaders that I think it's okay to sell a lot of these and just buy back once team leaders drop because so many people are going to just flood the market. They see team leaders drop and they're going to sell everything they have in their binder. But do what you want with the information, guys. There's some good information for you. I hope you guys did enjoy Like I said, drop a like if this helped you out, and I'll talk to you all later. Take it easy. Peace.